Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Here to go over some Steam news and feature updates as they've put out a post, this was a few days ago, but the great Steam demo update of 2024, making demos an even more powerful and flexible marketing tool. And I gotta say, I feel like over the last few years, like bro, demos are kind of coming back. Like I feel like major titles are getting demos. I'm not saying every major game and I get it. I've talked about demos in the past and then it was clarified to me that what we see as far as a demo being released sometimes for a bigger publisher creating the gameplay slice for a demo is a little bit more uh, nuanced than let's say I would perceive it to be I just figure you just you know take out a portion of the game release it and you're good to go and I don't know if for some games that is the case some games it isn't because some games still get demos uh, Final Fantasy 16 recently on PlayStation 5 got a phenomenal phenomenal demo that that game how that game did a demo like I think people were gonna buy ff16 regardless but it was a little bit different than like final fantasy 7 rebirth where it was a direct sequel ff with every entry is like a brand new game and ff16 was going a little bit off the beaten path so to speak for final fantasy in general and i feel like that demo sold so many people on that game and there have been great demos stellar blade i know these are console only titles but those are the ones that really stick out to me stellar blades demo was fantastic as a marketing tool and then of course when you circle back to steam you look at stuff at like uh, stuff like next fest that has become a big fixture of steam and getting demos more over i just think it's an effective tool i don't think releasing a demo for a game that's relatively unknown is going to do a lot in terms of getting the uh, word out there about the game because that's just the reality especially when something like next fest is going on it's just so many titles, and I have a buddy that every time Next Fest runs, he gets super into it, but, you know, it is a little bit difficult to go through everything but demos i feel like are making a comeback and now the great steam demo update with thousands of new playable game demos launching every year often as a part of steam next fest we've noticed some trends and feedback from developers and players about changes they'd like to see and we've processed uh, made to the process and functionality so we've put together an update based on that feedback demos now behave better in the steam library we've made a few updates to how demos appear and behave within the steam library here are the key items you can add demos to your library without a Immediately installing them, you'll find an add to library button appearing for demos now that lets you add to your library from the mobile app or other places where you may not be ready to install them immediately. Demos can be installed even if you already own the full game. Primarily, this will make it easier for developers to test demos, but it'll also help players more easily manage in installing and uninstalling demos. I don't know, you know, who would be wanting to download and install a demo when they already own the full game, but hey. The option is always appreciated. Demos can be explicitly removed from accounts by right-clicking manage and remove from account. That's great. With uh, When a demo is uninstalled, it'll automatically get removed from your library. I like that because demos, I, I don't feel like they should stay in your library. It should be something you install, you'll probably play through. And most people, if they want to circle back to a demo, they're going to keep it uh, installed. Uh, at the point of uninstalling it, you've probably made up your mind about whether or not you're going to buy the game, so it's kind of irrelevant for it to stay in your library, so I like that quite a bit. Demos can now also have a separate store page. By default, your free demo appears as a button on your base game store page, but if you want to have a separate store page for your demo, you can enable that in the edit store section of your demo. Enabling a separate store page for your demo will give you space to better describe the contents of the demo, add screenshots, upload a trailer, and specify supported features. Now, this is something that's already kind of done uh, in the sense that people just get around it and get a, another release on Steam by doing like, oh, uh, X game prologue or X game the first the first wave or something like that. You know, they uh, create uh, they, they have creative titles that essentially indicate that a game is a prologue or a demo, uh, but it has its separate store page and you get Steam reviews and everything like that. I actually didn't realize that that would be an a that would be a very effective reason on why you would do a demo that way versus just doing it the install demo way that has been available to some other games where you're not getting a separate Steam page, you're not getting Steam user reviews, which I think whenever you have a, uh, you know, this side demo release, this prologue entry release, so to speak, and you see, and people are browsing and they see something like that and they see overwhelmingly positive, it's free, you're going to get a lot of people to try it out. So that's actually effective, you know, I never actually really thought about it that way, but that does make sense. But now you're going to be able to just have a separate store page for the demo if you want to do it that way. Tight connection with your base game standalone demo store pages will 
will automatically display both the, the demo install button as well as a widget linking back to the full game for players interested in wishlisting or purchasing the full game. That's what's done with the prologue titles if they do release it as a separate one. User reviews for demos. If you choose to enable a store page for your demo, you will also be enabling players of the demo to post user reviews that appear on your demo. These reviews and review score will be appear on your demo store page, just like reviews for any other free game on Steam. If you choose not to have a store page for your demo, then user reviews will not appear for your demo because you can't leave user reviews uh, when you do install demo like that because the full it's tied to the full game listing, so you know, you can't review the full game. Store page mostly doesn't impact visibility. The Steam store will treat your demo mostly the same way, whether you have enabled a standalone store page or not. One factor that may come into play is if your demo ends up having a bunch of negative reviews, it might be less appealing to potential players that get filtered out of some views if the review score is too low. Uh, of course, on the flip side, can be true if players are loving your demo, the positive review signal to other players may boost interest. Demos now appear more in the Steam store. I don't know how to feel about that. Demos can behave more like free games and can appear in all the same sections and lists. For example, demos can now appear on the Steam homepage charts in, as the new and trending and on the new on Steam page. And on relevant tag and category pages, this means that launching a new free demo for your game will behave similarly as launching a free standalone game on Steam. Wishlisters are notified when you launch a demo. I do quite like that. We've now also made it so when releasing your playable demo, Steam can send email to wishlisters of your base game and followers of your, your developer and publisher for people that are already looking forward to the release of your game. This gives them a taste of the game's experience and reminds them to tell their friends. Note that if you have some control over when this email goes out, as well as some limitations for example, you may want to delay the email by a few days if you plan to release your demo during the Steam Next Fest. Press preview, but want to wait uh, to notify your wishlisters until the Next Fest officially starts. Check out the updated demos documentation for more details. There is a infrequently asked questions section. Infrequently asked questions. How about that? So there you go with that. It seems like demos and Steam has really been in the forefront of getting demos more over at a larger scale. I also think Square Enix as a publisher has been really committed to dropping demos for a lot of their games. And there's been a lot of publishers that have been doing quality work as far as offering demos, which I think can be incredibly effective. I think in the case of like a Final Fantasy 16 or a Stellar Blade, uh, those demos are incredibly effective. Uh, whereas, you know, something like a demo for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, uh, which is a direct sequel, uh, that doesn't necessarily need a demo. But hey, demos are always appreciated. I'm never gonna be like, oh, the, well, why do we? Why are you dropping a demo for this? It's just for that game. I think people were already sold on it, and I think demos were effective in cases like the Resident Evil 2 one shot demo. I think that drummed up a lot of interest, especially when that was the first big remake from Capcom for Resident Evil. But those are larger scale games with Next Fest and whatnot. You don't get a lot of large games from large publishers represented. They usually do their demos demos, um, you know, in their own time and their own way. And by the way, Final Fantasy 16 is also scheduled to have a demo on PC. Hopefully that'll drop soon, but that will be doing it for me. Again, nice little feature update as far as demos on Steam are concerned. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself, but that'll do it for me. All your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.